What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, G-Man. And we got a tutorial. Some basic, some everyone can do. So don't worry if you a center, if you a, a Boo Boo 55 overall lockdown defender. You could do maybe one of these combos in here. I don't know. But hey, a combo's a combo. So show you these signature styles real quick. All right, so go ahead and take a screenshot. Do whatever. Make sure y'all put on Elite 2 ISO crossover. You need that. And the rest, I mean, it's simple. You probably already got these on. Elite 1 dribble. Elite 5 basic size up. Kyle Lowry crossover size up. Between the legs, Kobe. And behind the back, D-Wade. All right. The second combo we're going to start off with is, you know, when people come down the court, they'll hit these between the legs and... You know how to do it. So what you do is, you have, if you put on my signature styles, you already got the moves on. So you need crossover to uh, ISO, whatever it's called. And then you need Kobe between the legs. And those are only the two things you need for this. So you just come down the court and just keep doing between the legs. That's all you got to do. All right, this next combo is going to be using our crossover size up so our crossover size up is Kyle Lowry you can easily speed boost out of it it looks it looks glitchy too and to do this you just if you got the ball in your right hand just tap your right stick left and then right and do it fast and there you go and just the easy combo with this do your crossover size up and then do a hop jumper and then you can go hit the basket or you can um, go to the three line you have options on most of these combos so y'all go ahead and try that combo all right so now we're gonna go over two little drill moves and then we're gonna um, put them into a combo so the first thing is the momentum cross so I'll put a little thing up on the screen right now so that's how you do a momentum cross all you want to do is Flick your right stick. Let's say you got the ball in your left hand. You want to flick it to the right without holding anything. Just flick it and then run. It's easy. It's simple. And if you want to go to the left, yeah, and you have the ball in your right hand, flick it to the flick your right stick to the left and then run that way. All right. For this next combo, a lot of y'all might know what it is already, but it's the Kobe little weird glitch i don't really know what to call it it's just the between the legs for kobe so what you want to do is you just want to hit your right stick do it do it between the legs so hit your right stick diagonally down in any direction doesn't matter so if you have the ball in your right hand you're gonna flick the ball diagonally left or let's say for for time's sake, I'm going to just say do between the legs. If you don't know how to do it between the legs, just look it up because I want to explain everything. So what you want to do is do it between the legs and you want to do it behind the back. So behind the back, you just flick down without holding anything. So boom, 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 boom. It's easy. It's not hard. And then to do the glitch version, all you want to do is you want, you want to do your between the legs and then you just want to run as soon as like you all right so you're between the legs and then flick down and run at the same time all right since we learned both of those moves now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them together so you got a ball in your right hand you're gonna do your Kobe between the legs so flick your right stick bottom diagonally left so the bottom left corner and then you want to do it behind the back and behind the back is you just flick down so let's just do that real quick boom boom and then once you do that you want to do a momentum cross to the left and this is with the ball in your right hand started so here we go oh it messed me up hold on there you go so how you do this is once you get your um, timing down, you can make it even go faster like that, and you can start doing the opposite direction too. It doesn't matter. It 
It looks clean once you master it. All right, this next combo is for every position. You could be a center, power four, small four, it doesn't matter. So what you wanna do is you wanna do your, I'll just say the 2K hesitation. So the 2K hesitation is you hold R2 and you flick the right stick to the right. And that's what it does. And then you do it to the left. If you want to do it to the left, hold R2 and flick your right stick to the left, and it's easy. And why this is good is because the hop jumper. So what you want to do with the hop jumper is, as soon as you do your hesitation, so you want to um, do a hesitation and then you do a hop jumper. Now, I know I didn't touch on this a lot, but my Dwayne weight behind the back size up, that's what it is right there. It's the only reason I use that is because it's fast and people don't really use it that much and it's like it's not predictable. That's really all it is. And you do this, you speed boost off of it. All you gotta do is flick your right stick down twice and you'll do the combo. Alright, now let's move on to one of my favorite combos that I've been doing since like 2K15. So it involves this move right here. It's just a behind the back. To do this move, all you wanna do is be running to the left or to the right. I'll do it going to the left since all my combos start off in my right hand. So you just wanna run, and then you wanna flick your right stick to the right if you're running left. So we're running to the left, flick your right stick to the right. There you go. And if you're running to the right, flick your stick to the left simple and the combo that I love to do is just it looks so clean when you do it so what you want to do is you want to run do the behind the back and then you want to do a momentum cross and I'll just do that one motion for y'all and y'all just see how clean that is because most likely they'll probably think you're just doing something stupid but this combo is really deadly and if you do this one, if you do that animation, you you can get some ankles off that. And this animation right here, that creates a lot of space. So if you're on the three line and you're running, let's just say you're right here, and you do that animation, then you do this animation over here. It's just, you could do a lot of combos off of this, this one behind the back move. So, I don't really know how to get like the specific animation every time, but these animations just come when they want to. But the combo again is you just run behind the back and then you momentum. All right, so this next move is what a lot of dribble gods or whatever you want to call them. It, this is what they use in a lot of combos. So what they do is you want to just have some speed going straight. And once you're going straight, so let's, uh, let's say you just hit elite one, and you're running like right here. Once you reach like some distance after running really quick, you want to do a hop jumper backwards. All, uh, the only way to do that is you tap square and you pull your left stick back. So just keep on spamming that, get used to it, and there you go. All right, one of my favorite variations of the hop jumper is this little move right here. I ain't gonna do it, my fault. That move right there. See how you do this is, you just wanna be running at an angle, and then you just wanna do a hop jumper backwards. See, I'm messing up right now, because I mean, it's hard, but at the time that you do it, like, that's the only thing that matters. So like, you can't do it running to the left, you can't do it running to the right, you gotta have some sort of angle running towards the basket. So that animation is good too. Sometimes it'll do that one, but just if you wanna do this move, just every time you just wanna have some sort of angle just attacking a basket and you'll do it every time. All right, my last combo before I end off with this is, I'm gonna just leave y'all with something cheesy, but a lot of people don't use it, so. What you wanna do is you wanna get in the post, you wanna run, and then do a hop jumper. 
All right, for this next move is, it's the triple threat jab spin. So I'll do it for y'all real quick. Y'all yeah, see, it's, it's, it's cool. It look cool, right? It works too, that's the funny part. So what you wanna do is, you if you catch the ball or you're on the inbound on, well, you can't really be on the inbound unless it's 1v1, but if you catch the ball, you just want to do a full 360. So you want to start start at the top of your analog stick and rotate it left or right in a 360 angle. So just spin it all the way around, all the way around, and that's all you gotta do. And hope y'all like that move. And that's well, I hope y'all enjoyed this drill tutorial. You know, G Man came with the heat, but you know. Y'all just let me know if y'all want another one. I could bring some advanced combos, you know, stuff you see me do right now. But that was pretty much like a basic tutorial. And if y'all need any help, just mess me on PSN. The only G-Man 2Es. And that's pretty much it. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. And to do all these moves, before I forget, you need an 86 ball control. So the tallest player you can make and still speed boost is a 6'10 small four with a boost on his playmaker. And he has to be at sunset. So if y'all want to have the cheesiest speed booster, get you a 6'10. A 6'10 small four point four. There you go. That's the tallest speed booster you can get. And the shortest is, well, it's the shortest. And if you want to have a short sharpshooter, they have to be 6'2 or below. And that's pretty much it. Hope y'all enjoyed. And I'm out.